Here they are. All right, let's go ahead and turn this on. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. And let's knock out some of these zombies with our pistol. Just make sure that they'll make it back up. By the way, they are using the stairwell. Or the ladders, rather. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> and they're getting so sliced up. This is amazing. Absolutely unbelievable. Oh, how did she hit me through there? Uh, we'll examine later. But, um, team, I think that's working out pretty well. <laughs> Let's inspect it a little bit closer. Yeah, I'd say so. Especially because they are using the ladders now. They're just getting sliced up on the way. This is working exactly as intended. <laughs> I don't even have to do anything. Oh, imagine when there's going to be four of them. Slicing them as they go up in one spot. That's going to be so good. It is worrying me, though, that they are only using this little ladder system. They're not using anything else. Which, you know, I, I suppose could be problematic. But, I mean, if it works, it works. Yeah, there they go. Okay, somebody came from the other side. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, so, so they're not only using the ladders. We're fine. I was getting a little bit concerned, a little bit worried, if you know what I mean. Would be nice if I actually hit them. Yeah. <laughs> we have so much ammo and so much stuff, but I could save some by doing a little bit of this. Yes, yes. Imagine when the little punty's here. This is going to be great. But you can see they're not jumping over there. They're not hopping over, so that should be all right. Let's just make sure that I repair these because I was examining the situation a little bit too much. And I might have made it a little bit difficult for myself. The only thing I will say is those blades are not... They're hitting me somehow now. Which is weird. Maybe they switched something. Or maybe it's the ones that are... Yeah, I think it's the ones that are crawling. That one over there. That's what it is. Okay. Makes a lot of sense. Let's just machine gun them down. Nice. Yeah, and with the punt, we should have absolutely no issues. Oh, this is just glorious. Absolutely beautiful. Get down, man. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how long those blade traps will last, but I'll take it. I'll take it. The only problem is if I don't have full on that spec, I'm going to not get all the experience. But, mm, eh. <laughs> it's been fun. It's been fun. Either way. I'll try to get this doggo here. Well, the doggos will use the ladders or the staircases at least. So that's something. Oh, that one broke. The one on the right. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna go and repair it. This is what this is for. It's not finished, but it's... <gasps> Wait, I don't have any? I left my forged steel. Oh, no. Oh, that's just utter disappointment. Girls, please. Hang in there, hang in there. Jared, I'll come back. I don't want to go underground because I don't want to mess up their AI, unfortunately. I left my stuff somewhere else. So I probably dropped it in a box. Ugh, I did, didn't I? I had like 15 forged steel to repair. It wasn't a lot, but it might have helped. You never know. Nice. Just hit them right in the booba. I just, this has been a lot more exciting than I thought. This is only a day 14 horde. Holy crap, zombies. Look. There's been no cops yet. No weird birds. I mean, I think no birds. Uh, hard to say. No birds so far. We'll be okay. We'll be just fine. Okay, so, some of them are using the stairwell. Okay, okay. Maybe just whenever there is a lot of commotion, they'll use it. And whenever there's nothing to do, they'll use the ladder. Right? Whenever there's only, like, a couple zombies here. 
don't know. In all honesty, them using the ladders is the best thing for me because the blade traps will all be there. And once the four blade traps are there, this is gonna be absolutely disgusting. Just deletion is gonna it's gonna be. And I can probably even just to make things a little bit dirtier, add a bit. Oh my god, there's so many zombies. Add a little trap on top of it so that they get stuck there. Oh, repair. An electrical fence post, I mean. That would really seal the deal here. Or I could just put little slowing traps on the way here. Which I could, I could. The roof is high enough that it shouldn't mess with their AI at all. Oh my. Okay, I'm gonna stop using this weapon. I'm gonna hope things don't get any worse here. And I'm gonna try to melee because... I really, really need to save some ammo. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot believe I reached that far. That's lovely. Who needs electrical fence post though? When I am an electrical fence post. A walking post. <laughs> I think there's a few more zombies downstairs. I'm gonna hope that they make it back up here. <laughs> he just got sniped. <laughs> oh, so many lumbermen. And no cops, though. I, I don't think our game stage is high enough to get cops just on the horde night. I don't think so. Now, it would have been ideal had I brought my repairs, but I don't think that would have lasted that much longer. And it is interesting that they're going for the right-hand side. And I'm guessing that's because they're falling through this side here. So, yeah, it is what it is. I think eventually, though, when our little pun turret's gonna be here, it's gonna push them down this way. So they might use this side a bit more. It's just kind of interesting how it worked out. And team, I think that's it. 1 a.m. <laughs> Easiest hordes of my life. I did fix things up a little bit here. I don't know if you guys got to see it, but I made this a little bit thicker. Just because it's not even and it was going to drive me insane. I'll have to fix this back area here to make it look a little bit nicer. But now we have a little bit of extra room here. And I'll just have to fix this up however I can. But for now, I'm using this. All right, you know what? Not too bad. Imagine if they actually come now, though. <laughs> when I went downstairs. I'll be okay. I've healed. I've eaten. I've done everything before the horde. So I should be good to go. I could probably upgrade this, too. Not a lot of damage taken, either. Overall, pretty easy. Pretty easy, but acceptable, you know? It's a day 14 horde. What were we thinking, right? It wasn't going to get any harder. Not at all. All right, let me see how much damage was done to this area here, though. Minimal. Minimal. That's beautiful. I did see some zombies coming this way, so maybe if they spawned over there, they walk through here. Although, I am fairly certain that the main entrance point here is this. They really like getting through here. And it makes sense. It's the quickest path, right? Because it's the closest one. And they don't see it as, you know, obstructed. Even though it most certainly is. But yeah, these have taken a nice amount of damage. That's okay. That's expected. Very nice. We have an iron... This is so nice. We didn't have a fire axe before. That's gonna do... That's gonna do very nicely. And everything else took so little damage. We're set, guys. We're set for a mission. An adventure beyond anything we could have ever dreamed of. This will look so nice one day when we finish it. <laughs> but now I know, now I know that they'll prefer this path. I don't think these back stairs are going to get much action. So if I want to remove them, that's fine. But I just wanted to make it a path for them to get to me a little bit faster, right? Always make it as easy as possible for them to get. And now since it's so early and we haven't really done much, I think what we could do... Well, we did. We survived the whole horde. But what I mean is, since we have so much time left uh, on the night, I think what I'm going to do is a, a mining helmet. Can you imagine this? Imagine if this had actually dropped earlier at literally any time. <laughs> it's been days, guys. It's been days where I, I didn't have a light. It was horrible. We have a blueberry. Okay, we have a lot of stuff. Let's go ahead and put a little storage here. Just a little tiny one. To get things out of the way. Yep. 
it's it's a little complicated but it will do and we do have a quest so let me just go ahead and drop that off i have my blueberry pie still so i got a little bit of boiled meat made which is obviously a little bit better we're gonna take this with us we're gonna take probably some meds if i had to be honest and we'll take all of this all right because what I want to do now is I want to go and I want to see if I can get some of the um, the quest done. So we have this restore power here. And I think it's a good idea to go do it on Horde Night. Why not, right? I mean, we have nothing else to do. All right. We've spent the night here. We killed the Horde. Everything's been taken care of. We really did so well. I'm so proud. And, you know, now it's time to reap our rewards. Uh, we have two little wrenches here, so one extra one of those. And we have this. Okay. Mm -hmm. This will do. This will do nicely. I have plenty of ammo. I tried to conserve a little bit by using the baton, which I think was a good idea. Let me go ahead and turn that off really quickly. And then we'll head out to do the quest. It just seems the most sensible thing to do. Okay. And off we go. We've turned everything off. And, you know, the horde was, um... How should I put it? A bit of a joke. <laughs> so, we gotta do what we gotta do. All right, we're gonna make our night interesting. If the zombies couldn't do it, we're gonna do it ourselves. Oh, I still can't wait to make this my entrance right here. It's gonna be so cool. I'm gonna make a tunnel and I'm gonna make a little parking area for my vehicles. I mean, and by my vehicles, I really just mean my motorcycle. Nothing else will be able to fit through there. <laughs> it would be cool if I could get a 4x4 in there, but I don't think I can. All right, let's go this way. We could just make a bigger entrance, but I don't think that's wise either. Woo! All right. And I'm actually super excited about it. Run him over. Run him over. Run him over. I love, love having ammo. All right. But as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by a delicious deer. We have never done one of these. Or rather, I have never done one of these. If you guys have, you know, I'm glad for you. But this is going to be my first time restoring power at night. And I'm kind of hyped. I'm kind of ready. I don't know how this will go, but it can't be that bad, right? It is Fortnite and we are going in. Oh, speaking of which. Shall I just get this really quickly? I see the box under there, too. I could be cheesy and just grab it twice. Could look at it. It's a working stiffs box. Uh, no, look, I'm going to be a good girl and I'm just going to activate the quest. No, no. <sighs> this is the biggest bummer. I, um, I'm so sad. <laughs> I waited too long. I waited way too long. You know what? We're still doing something else, all right? I'm not letting it end like this. Well, at least I gotta say, it looks freaking awesome here at night during Horde Night. I'm so glad I made it out. Auto wash? Ah, uh, this could be interesting. This could be a nice amount of loot. I mean, I was hoping for some working stiffs or something like that, but this could do nicely. I mean, why not, right? It's got an electronics vehicle outside that can never be bad. So let's go ahead and open these up. This is the good stuff right here. And now that we have pistols, we have nothing to worry about. Yeah, yeah, it's morning. It's morning, technically. But that is but a technicality. I'm still going to do this. <laughs> you never know. And I think I got a, v uh, I got a book already. So that's really nice. This shouldn't take too long, right? Not with weapons. I'm going to go machine gun in there. Ah. Uh... I'm so sad. Ooh, two of them. Not sad anymore. Come on, zombies. Let's go. This is a new POI, too. So, okay, overall, you know, the night was easy. But this is going to be glorious either way. Hello. No zombies here. Huh. It feels like a lie, you know? There it is. <laughs> there we have them. Oh, cool. There's like a little roofy area, too. 
All right, let me go over there really quickly. Oh my. <laughs> this at night would have been ridiculous. Ah, that was easy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to be wrong. Like, what if there was something else here? I feel like I haven't gotten, like, a bounty of loot. But maybe this place didn't have it. Look at it. It's a tiny, tiny spot. Oh, that's the working steps right there. Well, I had to try. Either way, I... Mm, please, you know, we got a couple of good things here. <laughs> well, one good book. <laughs> the rest we already knew. But that's fine, you know. We're getting closer. We have volume seven now. Hydraulics. This advanced tweak to hydraulics increases the fire rate of robotic weapons by 10%. That is great. And let's see if we can make ourselves a robotic weapon. We can indeed. We can make a level 2 robotic sledge. We should have done this for Fortnite. I honestly, I have everything. I have the robotics parts, which are going to be the hardest thing. And then we have all the mods for our little flying drone that we're never going to be able to have. I need a drone schematic. Oh. My sweet baby, one day you'll be mine. But yeah, that was it, guys. An easy horror night. I mean, I didn't expect it to be really difficult at all, especially because we have now blade traps. And if I can get two more blade traps made, as well as get enough steel to repair those, it's going to be a breeze. I'm going to continue to do quests. And, and then this week, I also have a plan to go to the hospital. It's somewhere here. I think it might be that guy here or this guy. It's like one of the big boys. Yeah, it's probably right here. But I'm planning to go there because I need to find a beaker. That or I'll buy a, a beaker from the trader, whatever. Uh, but we need to find a beaker so we can make a camp station. So I can make myself all the ammo that I could possibly require. All the ammo that I could dream of. And I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this. I know it's going to be a little bit of a short one. You know, I expected Horde Night to last till 4 a.m. And it did not. And then I really wanted to go do that quest. And, well, I could not. So next time I will go, I'll make sure I go between 2200 and 1 a.m. As it seems to be the time. And uh, we will get it done. I think I'm going to be doing it tonight. Just to be sure that I see it for the first time. So thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Until then, bye.